line one on one and really it's technique it's hand placement it's toughness it's it, you can't hide here if you have a flaw if you're tight you can't move it gets exposed here there's Darius Smith again we saw him last week at the East West Shrine game he, he showed up on game day See, tempers get going a little bit right now. Day two, they start pushing each other around a little bit. Trinka Passat, defensive tackle from Iowa. It's one-on-one, -on -one, and, and if you have any kind of testosterone, and trust me, these guys do, your pride's on the line for everybody to watch. Marshall Kidd. Yeah, Danny Shelton just kind of pushed him right back. If you're going to play Danny Shelton, you better drop your hips and bend your knees and get under him. And it's hard to get under him. He's only about six feet. And you better get your hands inside and drop. Hands inside and drop and use every bit of leverage you have. Lake Tomlinson from Duke. And, and that's a kid that in short areas is gifted. Now, the further he moves, the more his lack of mobility gets exposed. But I like him as a starting guard in the NFL. He's really strong. You're right, though, Mike. When he gets up to the second level, he'll get off balance a little bit. Every now and then he'll duck his head, but he's a good football player. Here's a good matchup right here, T.J. Clemming. That's it. Woo. Little punch. Kid from Penn State. Hadn't been punched like that in a while. <laughs> T.J. Clemmings, the tackle at a pit. Right tackle at pit. Only two years of college football. I'm sorry, two years on offense. I Correct. Three years, years as a defense, defense player. Only one year of high school football. There you go again. Now that's where he gets. Now he's got the feet to handle that move, but from a technique perspective, he oversets, means he goes too wide and he leaves himself exposed to an underneath or inside move. And what he's got to do is stay, because he's so gifted physically and so long, he's got to stay inside out and funnel people outside the quarterback. Stay patient. Go, go, go. And there's another inside move that Darius Smith that time beat Trent Brown from Florida. And that's what these offensive tackles have to concentrate on. Inside out pass protection. Trent Brown 6'8, 376. You're so long, it's like running around the block to try and get around him. Ali Marpet inside, not used to those kind of angles. And trust me, Henry Anderson from Stanford. He's got length, he knows how to use it. Yeah, exactly. Is that a commercial, Charles, back in the day? Charles, you'd know. He's got go, Danny, go, Danny, go. Uh, got me on now. These legs. Danny Shelton it's easy again. top, by the way. Come on. Max Garcia working on with Shelton. Shelton's just gonna. He, he's one of the rare defensive tackles that can be in on third down. He can get an edge and go. Go clean it, clean it. Pretty good job that time. Robert Myers got stunned early, but re-anchored a little bit. That was against Marcus Hardison, number 11 out of Arizona State. Who's a load at 311 pounds with some get off and quickness. Now this is Haverstein. He's a right tackle only, which means you better be real good. And he does a nice job washing the defensive end right down the line of scrimmage. Is that Orchard? That's Orchard. That's a pretty good job against a heavy-handed defensive end. And that's the problem with the undersized defensive end. If, if they get their hands on you, you're done. Orchard second in FBS and sacks a year ago. Penn State on Penn State. Good job by Smith. He's had two good days, Mike yeah, Donovan yeah. Smith. Hey, I watched about three of his games the other day when I realized he was going to be here, and he played left tackle at Penn State. I think he's probably a right tackle ultimately, but he's so long and he's so strong, he's a good football player. There's Donovan Smith against Deion Barnes there, Penn State on Penn State. I looked at my notes on him, Mike. I had latch slash dump a bunch on the paper. Hey, what what does, does that mean? Explain that. Oh, he, well, that's a big win right there by Davis. But latch and dumps means you get your hands on a player and you, you put him on the ground. You get your hands inside, and that's what he does. Pancake, for lack of a better term. Pancake. But, the viewer at home knows that? Yes. Inside. Tomlinson. Now, that's a good matchup right there. That, that's two men right there. That's, you guys like Tomlinson at right guard? That's two tons of fun right there. Yeah, I think Tomlinson's a right guard, and that was against Shelton. And he did a nice job anchoring again. He's one of the few guys strong enough to anchor against Shelton. Danny Shelton out of Washington mentioned yesterday the first hey, hey, academic hey, All-American hey, as well for a Husky since Ed Cunningham back in 1991. Charles, you said he taught a class also. Yeah, he, he actually taught a class there the uh, fall semester. 
Charles, what we got here, man? Go, go, go. Nate Orchard winning quickly. Against TJ Cummings. And that was hands more yeah, than what anything. He does. His hands, and he was able to get up field on him. And Clemmings, what I've noticed on Clemmings is his head drops a lot. Yep, he overextends. And, and he overextends, head drops, and that gives those guys an opportunity. But that's just going to be coaching. It's going to be, you know, him putting that little little bit of time in. But you can see all the rest of the tools that are there. Yeah, I mean, I came out pushing him hard yesterday, and he's really struggled on the one-on-one -on -one drills. Oh, he's well, late. Well, he, he, he's getting ready to shoot his punch, and he's late with his hands a lot. Pretty good job inside that time. Is that Garcia? That's Garcia. Florida. Watching O-line, D-line here in North practice. Day two in Mobile, Alabama. Mike Mayer. Daniel Jeremiah, Charles Davis, Alex Flanagan, I'm Andrew Siciliano. There's the division. What, what's Tennessee State? They're one, Charles, one, one double, double A. a right? Yep, one double A play in the Ohio Valley Conference. They have a senior bowl scholarship every year, too, I believe. Yes, we have they a do. Tennessee State player here. every year. We had, uh, what was it, Edwards last year? And that is nice Robert job. Myers. Good the job O-liner. there. And he's had three good shots, guys, in a row. Robert he's Myers much better has. today than he was yesterday. He's picked it up. He's done a nice job. You know, we asked Ken Wisenhunt yesterday about first impressions, how important are they, and he made the point it's not just day one. It's learning and growing this entire week in front of the coaches and scouts. Paul don't, Haverstein again, Charles, right? Yeah, don't you don't you get the idea that when guys see Havenstein, they think, okay, I'm just going to beat him with speed, and then he gets a hand on him and the play's over? I think Haverstein understands his limitations. He does. I think he knows who he is, and he plays to that. He's so long with long arms. He's an inside out guy and he understands the power step when they try to make an inside move he washes them right down the line oh, there there go. Go. six seven is matching the 479 there we saw Trent Brown is six eight hey Havenstein reported to Wisconsin about 385 yep. when he stepped on campus Got a brother who was a high school college basketball player as well as a sister Played college hoops. Wade in here at 332. Oh, gotcha. Sculpted gotcha. 332. Yeah, for him, I mean, you're talking about a guy from 385 and every year oh, trimmed his body down and remade it. He did a nice job getting better every year in Wisconsin. I'm t uh, Henry Anderson, 287 pounds. He's six foot six. I think he can play. Now, is, is he a five technique, a defensive end, and a three four? Sure, he is in a base, but his movement skills and length help him get to the quarterback. Nice job again by Smith. And he's done it on both sides. It's been a good day. You talked about that at the top, Mike, that guys would move around yep. a little more today. Yep. I think it's been really nice for the young man from Penn State, Donovan Smith. I think he's a pleasant surprise. And now here's Clemmings, too high. high. Now, he's late with his hands, Mike. He's, he's 0 for 3, and he got beat inside, he got beat outside, and then he just got bowled. And, Danny, what you're saying about being late with the hands is is if you let a guy into your chest, it's over. It's all over. And he's this is a kid, again, gifted, but, but boy, is he raw. But let's all remember two years as an offensive player. The feet, I love his feet. I mean, he's got great feet. Quickness is outstanding. He's got to clean up his hands. Go, go. So Darius Smith has been helping himself. Strong week at Let's the East West. Let's give him a lot of credit, too, guys. Yeah. Remember East West, and then what did we say when we flew here on Sunday? Okay. Congratulations. Got the promotion. It's going to be a lot tougher. Yeah, but I want to know where his teammate is. Where's Bud Dupre? He was yeah. supposed to be here. He backed out late, and there's a guy that could have really helped himself by being here. Well, he's opened the door for other people, hasn't he? Yeah. Darius Smith, Juco player, a couple of years at Kentucky. Watching the O-line and the D-line here, day two of practice at the...